Hi everybody, welcome to Ace Engineering Academy and Ace Online. So this video is regarding a notification which was released by NIOT that is National Institute of Ocean Technology. So if you go into the website, so niot.res.in slash recruitment details dot php. So in that, at the beginning itself, the first advertisement, advertisement number NIOT slash ENP 05-2024 project is there. So detailed advertisement is here and application form is here and last date for submission. So last date for submission of the application is 23rd December 2024 up to 5.30 p.m. So this is the last date for submission of the online application. So some branches of BTEC students are eligible to apply here and ME MTech students are also eligible for applying this one. So now let us go into this detailed advertisement here. So coming to the detailed advertisement. So here you can see National Institute of Ocean Technology Chennai, an autonomous R&D organization under the Ministry of Earth Sciences invites online applications through the website link. So the website link is given for the following positions in various disciplines on contract basis for various projects carried out by NIOT. So, on contract basis, so these people will be recruited, project scientist, project scientist 3, one post is there for unreserved category, project scientist 2, 7 posts are there for unreserved category, project scientist 1, 34 posts are there, all categories together, project scientific assistant, 45 posts are there, project technician, 19 posts, project field assistant, 10 posts, project junior assistants, 12 posts, research associate 6 posts and senior research fellow 13 posts and junior research fellow 5 posts. A total of 152 posts were notified. Now, so the number of vacancies will be subjected to variation depending upon the needs that includes backlog vacancies also. So please read the terms and conditions and instructions for how to apply. So if you click here, how to apply related information will come. Now, see here project scientist 3 is MSc in Marine Biology, Marine Science and Geology from recognized university. Okay. And then project scientist 2, 7 vacancies are there. Maximum age limit is 48, 40 years. Age relaxation as per government of India norms. And emoluments, rupees 16,000 plus HRA. So this is house rent elements as you all know. And discipline and reservation, mechanical 3 posts are there for unreserved category. So here, ME, MTech in Mechanical, Thermal, Production, Marine, Naval, Architecture, Ocean Engineering, Industrial Engineering from recognized university with 60% of marks in the qualifying degree level is given with 3 years experience in research and development, survey, planning, supervision or training in the relative field. So job requirement is given, design, development, analysis of mechanical systems, subsystems, offshore, so then assembly, fabrication, integration. So lot of details are given for the job requirement. You can go through that. Then next one is life sciences related posts are there and physical oceanography posts is there. So then electronics and communication engineering and electronics and instrumentation, ECE and E and I, one post is there, unreserved category, ME, MTech in electronics and communication, electronics, applied electronics, VLSI design, embedded system design, instrumentation and control, communication system from recognized university with 60% marks in the qualifying degree level. So, knowledge in embedded system design, programming and verification of C, C++, MATLAB, Python, Java, so data acquisitions, CADA, LabVIEW, so these are the additional qualifications if these are there so it will be very much better so with three years experience they are asking dear students kindly go through this carefully then coming to the project scientist one so the total number of posts are 34 posts here and maximum age limit is 35 years age relaxation as per government of india norms so here emoluments 56000 plus hra then mechanical 8 posts are there total, 
So BE BTech in Mechanical Engineering from recognized university institute with 60% marks in the qualifying degree level. So desirable qualification. See, BE BTech is the essential qualification. Desirable means if MTech is also there, so that also will be preferred they are asking. So ME MTech from a recognized university or institute in any of the following disciplines with 60% marks in the Qualifying degree level, mechanical, thermal, production engineering, design, computer aided design, naval architecture, ocean engineering, aeronautical engineering. So job requirements are given here. So kindly go through this. Then, so this is related to phys physical oceanography. So next one is electronics and communication engineering and electronics and instrumentation. So here essential qualification is BE BTech in electronics and communication or instrumentation engineering from recognized university or institute with 60% marks and if MTech is there that is more desirable. So that is what they are saying and job involves carrying out embedded systems design programming in C, C++, MATLAB, Python, Java, SCADA, LabVIEW, signal processing, satellite communication all these related information was given. So kindly go through this. Then the next one is life sciences related posts and after that the posts are related to biotechnology. So MSc biotechnology or BE BTech biotechnology are required. Then electrical engineering one post is there BE BTech in electrical or electrical and electronics engineering from recognized university with 60% marks. ME in power electronics or power systems is desirable that is what he has given and certain job description is given you can go through this job description then for civil engineering four posts are there civil engineering four posts are there be btech in civil engineering from recognized university with 60 percent marks in the qualifying degree level so me mtech in civil in any of the following disciplines he has given so ocean engineering or technology geotechnical structural engineering then offshore structures ports and harbor engineering water resource engineering like this there are certain qualifications or specializations related to mtech that were given here then microbiology biology related one post is there and bioinformatics one post is there chemistry two posts are there so be btech in biomedical engineering people can apply for chemistry posts then coastal management remote sensing gis one post is there okay so these are the posts that are related to project scientist 3 then project scientific assistant posts. So these are majorly for diploma students. Okay. So mechanical three posts are there. A total of 45 posts are there here. So age relaxation 50 years. Maximum age limit is 50 years and age relaxation as per government of India norms. Emoluments 20,000 plus HRA. So here mechanical three posts are there. Three years diploma in mechanical, mechatronics, automobile engineering and any higher qualification in the relevant field or discipline is required then knowledge in software like autocad is desirable so these are the desirable qualifications that are being asked and job description is also given so kindly go through the job description life sciences 11 posts are there so life sciences 11 posts biotechnology microbiology 7 posts are there then bioinformatics 3 posts are there so all these some are asking for diploma qualification or bachelor's degree qualification then electronics and communication engineering and electronics and instrumentation three years diploma in electronics and communication electronics and instrumentation five posts are there here experience of two years in r d industry or higher qualification as per job requirement so this is the desirable qualification if this is not there also it is okay you can apply with 60% marks if you have attained in diploma in electronics and communication or diploma in electronics and instrumentation okay so electrical engineering also five posts are there three years diploma in electrical engineering electrical and electronics so all these things are given chemistry physics four posts are there okay then computer science bsc computer science bca or three years diploma in computer science so for computer science diploma holders also two posts are there so unreserved category one post is there then so desirable qualifications are also given and job requirement is also given here kindly go through this 
before applying. Then civil engineering, three years diploma in civil engineering from a recognized university with 60% marks. So five posts are there. Civil engineering, five posts are there. Any higher qualification is desirable and knowledge in AutoCAD is also desirable. So involves work in various project sites at islands or mainland. So this is for civil engineering people. Then project technicians, so 10th standard with I, ITI, so 10th standard with ITI grade. So there are posts for fitter, electrical, then electronics, air conditioning. So all these qualifications, everything is given here. Kindly go through this carefully. Okay. So this is about the various vacancies, dear students. So kindly go through these vacancies and then let me show you how to apply for this. So to apply for this, here application form, click here is there. So if you click here, so instruction to the candidates have come. So kindly go through these instructions carefully and then apply. Okay. So before signing in, first of all, you need to register or sign up. So for signing up, there is a candidate registration portal. So when you click on sign up, this will open. So candidate title will be there. You can give the title, first name, middle name, last name, email ID, password, and then you have to confirm password, date of birth, gender should be given, then mobile number and a captcha will be there. So this will not be properly visible. Kindly go through this captcha very carefully before applying and then click on register. Okay, right. So once you register, you will get the credentials. So login credentials will come, then you have to go for logging in or signing in. So here you can enter email ID and password and CAPTCHA, then you have to click on sign in. If you forget the password, click on forget, forgot password and you can recreate the password. So then, so here mode of selection will be majorly through interview. So date of recruitment. So here the dates were given. So project scientist to mechanical, project scientist to mechanical. So 20th January 2025 interview will be there. Electronics and communication, electronics and instrumentation 3rd February 2025. Then project scientist 1 mechanical 21-1-2025. Sorry, 21 electronics and communication, electronics and instrumentation 4th February 2025, electrical 24th January 2025 and civil 22nd January 2025 is there. So you can go through the remaining other branches details also kindly go through these. So interview will be there and project scientific assistant. So project scientific assistant. So this is diploma level. So here written test dates were given kindly go through the written test dates for various branches. So you can observe the dates here. Okay. So for various posts, the dates, everything were given here. The candidate has to fill the application online and upload recent passport size, color photograph and scanned copies of the documents listed below. So the scanned copies of the documents, educational qualification certificates from 10th standard onwards, mark list and degree certificate, experience certificates, certificates in prescribed format, in respect of candidates seeking relaxation for central government employees. Then certificate in prescribed format in, in respect of candidates claiming reservation under OBC, SC, ST, EWS category. Certificate in prescribed format in respect of candidates seeking relaxation at ex-servicemen and PWD category. Copies of publications, reprints or generals. And NOC. If you are working in a PSU, you need to get the NOC from that institution. Okay. So the candidate has to submit their profile upon which the registration number will be generated. The applicant has to apply for the post desired by selecting the same. So once you get the registration number, after uploading all the documents, by using the same, you need to apply for the post. On submitting the completed application, an application number, online application number will be provided by the system for the post applied. The candidate must download the copy of the application generated which will contain both registration number and application number for each post applied for. Candidate without application number 
will not be permitted to attend the selection process. So two numbers you will get registration number as well as application number kindly go through that. The request for change or correction in the application form will not be entertained under any circumstance. Therefore, the candidate must assure the accuracy of the data entered. So when you are entering the data, please be very careful because there is no correction window. Okay, so try to remember that incomplete applications without uploading the required documents photographs will be treated as invalid or rejected. So these are the things you need to follow terms and conditions are also given here. So go through these terms and conditions carefully before applying. Okay. So there is no TA DA will be paid for attending the interview or written examination kindly go through this carefully and last date and time for online application is 23rd December 2024 at 5.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Okay, so this is about the NIOT recruitment process. So diploma students, BTEC students as well as MTech students with experience can apply for various posts. So the selection process for diploma candidates is through written test. And for higher education candidates like BTEC, MTEC is through interview. Okay. So thank you. All the very best.